Hi traders, this is Thiago and welcome to Bull or Bear Futures channel. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe to the channel and leave your like in the video. Today I'm, I'm going to show you a trade I like, okay, not because uh, it's not that usual, not that often it, it happens, but when happening I and I detect I like entering, okay? Uh, we have a strong fall. Let's move to my, my screen. We have a strong fall in, in obviously in such a condition. I do not try any counter trend trade. Uh, I what I, I I usually try is to to detect an opportunity to enter short in favor of the, the move. But here we reach the region that I'm always looking at, that is the value area high. And if you see there are five candles, four candles in the 4,000 ticks chart, uh, trying to make a congestion, trying to, to, to break there, but buyers defending, okay? If you see at the volume at price, the same, we see the range from 39 to 4125, 4150. We see sellers putting pressure, but buyers absorbing. What I like seeing here, I like to see the breakout and exhaustion right after it and entering buyers. Okay, this is a, a, a nice setup I like observing. And if you see here, I was looking at this, uh, even though it was a congestion, so even making this, it in this case, after such a this time congestion, it could stop actually around the 42. But uh, anyway, I was looking at and waiting for the exhaustion. And look at what, what happened at 41.39. Only very close, to, very near to the breakout and only 20 contracts in aggressive selling orders. So this was the clue for me that I could enter. Okay, But even after entering, sellers kept putting pressure. You see there. For many times, my prices, my price has been reached, but the the it didn't take my stop. There's a trailing stop that have already moved two ticks, and so at this position right there, it's it's not this is not the right position to to have this stop, okay? But since the rationale was right, you see that it was I was lucky this because it could have stopped me, but. I preferred not to, 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 to cancel it or to adjust it. And since it was too bearish, the sentiment, I understood that, yeah, it could revert, but it could also break out downwards, okay? But I preferred to, to hold the, the, the trade. But I was actually fearing that at 41, 42, it could, since we had the congestion, if you see here in the top of the candles, it could stop there, then I was not that confident that move could continue. So my trading stop moved upwards and I didn't cancel it again. I, I was happy with that, that position because I was actually fearing the, the possible reverse due to bearish force. Here I accelerated the video, but I actually entered, considering the congestion, I entered a bit earlier. I anticipated my entering. Maybe after the, third, the 42 would be the right or the safest place to, to see. I see, I've seen the exhaustion down below, below the, the under the, the, the congestion, in the lower end of the congestion. And then when overcoming it stop, it could be the right place to end. And you see that actually it make it made a huge, or uh, how many? Almost 20 points move after that. So I would advise you to look at this condition after such a fall. Many times there are, no, there are not four candles, such as in this case, but when you see things getting stuck, and if you see an exhaustion in the lower level, it can lead you to a good opportunity to enter against the move and many times it leads to long-lasting transactions, long-lasting trades, okay? So before trying to, to make this, I suggest you to start observing, 
start observing and look at this condition both in the lower end or in the in the lows of the the day and in the high the high is the same is the opposite rationale but is it works pretty much the same okay if you like it please leave your like in the video any doubts please just drop me a comment i will be glad to to answer you and hope you enjoyed see you on next videos